Hey, hey guys, what's going on? It's Ordinary here, bringing you guys episode 42 as the GM of the Phoenix Coyotes. And last episode, uh, we did the first two rounds of the playoffs. It was the Jets in round one and the Kings in round two. And uh, I believe we swept, yeah, we swept the Jets and it took us six games to beat the uh, the Kings. The two games that we lost were entirely on our goaltender. Uh, shit the bed in the first period and we couldn't bounce back. So hopefully uh, he's got those shitty games out of his uh, system and he's ready to take on the uh, Predators in round three. Uh, it looks like we got to do some scouting here before game one. Let's do that uh, defenseman. Speaking of uh, scouting, last episode I asked if you wanted me to um, draft anyone in particular. Um, as of the time I'm recording this, no one has wanted me to pick anyone, so I'm just going to do whatever I feel is necessary for the team. Sim game, game one, here we go, in, uh, in Phoenix, in Glendale, sorry. Can we do it? Game number one, period number one, round number three. One nothing for them, Nick Spalling. He's their second line left winger, if I remember looking, or maybe he's a third line. Whatever, he scored. That's all that matters. Top of the circle, Fox couldn't stop it. Um, they're out shooting us two to one, so we need to turn that around in period two. Let's see what happens here. One one, Hornquist, uh, the former Nashville Predator, scores one, ties it up. Um, we didn't get outshot, but we didn't outshoot them, so hopefully we can uh, take a little bit of momentum here into the third in this 1 1 game. Power play, kill that off. There we go. Oh, it's too close. There it is. Stephen Harper, baby. The Prime Minister gives us a lead. Can we hold it? Can we hold it? We can. Out of boy, Harper. I like his. It looks like he's fucking uh, dressed up in a weird suit, too. Hey, I love it. Those are the Belleville Bulls jerseys, I think. And then he's wearing a collared shirt underneath for, like, picture day or something. But looks like a stud. Scores like a stud. So we like to see second liner putting it home for us. Fourth of the playoffs, along with Hornquist. Uh, Falk is going to get first star after letting in uh, that first period goal and managed to shut the door for the rest of it. And uh, he's still making a strong Conn Smythe push. Uh, even if he has uh, shit to bed for two out of 11 games, that's not so bad. Um, here we go. First period. 2-1 for us. Harper again. Pilot gets one and Smith gets one. He tips one in to start and then we get two quick ones. Bang, bang. Uh, one on the power play one even strength to take the lead going into uh, period two we are on the power play the shots are about even let's see what happens here 4-2 so we score we outscore him 2-1 again Dauphin Faxa uh, Dauphin's been crushing at these playoffs Faxa hasn't been doing too bad for himself either uh, the Shala guy I believe he's their second line left winger uh, and that would put uh, Spalling from the first game as their third line left winger I don't remember everything um, so we'll slow sim. We definitely outshot them big time. We'll slow sim this third. We should have this game. Five on three. You got to score on that. Oh my god. Brutal. They must have a really good penalty kill. They do have good defensive guys though, so that could be true. Doesn't matter. We're going to take that second game. Uh, four two ends the series. Happy with that. Uh, Harper with his fifth. Fax with his fourth. Dauphin with his ninth. So, like I said, he's been killing it. Two points again this game. Uh, Fox going to take home that second star. With two goals against average. Pope's with 11 assists too, so he's been unsung. He doesn't score a lot. I think he's only got like one or two, but uh, definitely putting up the apples. Uh, game number three, we are in Bridgestone Arena, I think is the name of it. I know, I know it used to be called Gaylord, which was uh, funny to me when I was 12, but uh, I think it's Bridgestone now. Uh, we'll see what happens here in game number one in Nashville. Or period number one, fuck. Spalling again, the first period sniper from the top of the circle. That's his go-to uh, spot. Seems like, I think he scored with like 10 minutes, uh, so same amount of time too. But uh, we had 18 shots in the first period, and Rene stopped them all. So that guy's fucking killing it. Falk managed to stop five shots, so uh, don't know what he was doing there. Must have been a really good shot. But uh, Peck or Rene, holy shit. Uh, if we keep up 18 shots a period, there's no way he uh, stops them all. So let's see what happens here. 1-1, one, one, like I said, Hanowski, that's his first uh, slap shot. We only had 11 shots that period. They had like 11 as well, so 
12. But whatever. 1-1, one, one, that's all that matters. Sanowski finally cracked the uh, dry spell, and we're going into period 3 all tied up. Power play for them, power play for us, power play for us again. Who knows what's going to happen here. Jesus Christ, it's getting really late here in the third, and Fax is going to score. Is that going to hold up? It is. a boy. Fax again. What a guy. So that's his fifth. Hanowski, like I said, that was his first. Uh, I remember Pearson didn't have any points or anything either, so nice to see him uh, on the board as well. Faxa, good for him. Looks like Pecorino, yeah, you got to give him that first star. 46 shots against. Managed to stop all but two. Fucked, uh, aside from that bad first period, uh, managed to turn it around. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say, uh, Fucked is not known for his good first periods, it seems like, when we do these slow sims. If they're going to score, it's going to be in the first, it uh, would appear. First period, game number four? So we can sweep them here, can't we? Let's see what happens. Uh, first period, here we go. Nothing doing. Four shots only for them. No goals for them in the first, so that makes me happy. I'm confident now going into period number two that uh, we can take a lead here. No, they take a lead. Bobby Ryan. Um, Falk needs to learn, learn, learn how to uh, fucking stop those from the top of the circle because that's all they're scoring. 24 shots for us, 11 for them, so we're over doubling them. We should be able to tie it up here in the third. Slow sim. Let's get it done, boys. Let's not give them any breath of fucking life. Come on. Oh, my God. Don't even. Don't even. Don't, don't, fuck me. 37 shots, no goals. Pecorine stands on his head. Uh, Fox is going to get that second or third star, and Bobby Ryan's going to get the other one, but Jesus Christ, Pecorine. Wow, so you're not going to give Fox a star for one goal against in the playoffs. You're going to give it to Colin Wilson, who had an assist. Yeah. The fucking media in Nashville, a bunch of homers. So we, we goosed it on the sweep, but that's okay, because uh, we're going to win it at home for the fans. We're going back to Arizona. Western Conference Finals. Uh, whatever that trophy's called is in the building. Let's see what happens. Come on, come on, come on. 2 nothing in the first. Popes. Like uh, I was saying, he doesn't score often, but uh, gets one there. Uh, shots are about even. Palat gets another one. He's been having a hell of a series. Our first line has not been showing up this series whatsoever. Second period. Nothing happened. Uh, shots are about the same again. We'll slow sim this one. Hopefully, uh, if we can get the 10 minutes with the two goal lead, I'm pretty confident. Yeah, I'm happy now. They get one with three minutes left, so it isn't over, but uh, Fax puts one in the empty net, and it is over. It looks like uh, the Phoenix Coyotes are going to be advancing to the Stanley Cup Finals for the first time in three years. Uh, they had a little fallout with the old squad, but it uh, looks like their new team is going to kill it. We're not going to stop to win that cup. Uh, what's his dick? Um, Focht had a hell of a game. They outshot us big time. And um, we'll get 34 shots, 33 saves, post a 9-7-1. Popes with uh, two points and Palat with the other goal there. So sweeping the board for the, uh, for the uh, three stars as we head into the Stanley Cup Finals. What's the other series? Looks like it's uh, Pittsburgh-Buffalo, but we'll see. Yeah, Pittsburgh-Buffalo. Scoring summary, um, Pittsburgh with a 3-1 series lead, so we could be going up against uh, Crosby, Malkin. Uh, if you remember, yeah, there they are. If you remember seeing how well fucking flurry has been playing, that was fucked. He had some crazy numbers. I wonder if they're still nuts. Uh, round one was the last time I actually looked. Assists, Crosby's got 11. Um, goals, Malkin's got 6. Um, Pugat's got 10 assists, and... Uh, Simone Dupre has nine. Where's uh, where's fucking goalie stats? Here we go. See, Fleury has a one one nine goals against average with a nine five nine um, save percentage. He's the only goalie outperforming ours in uh, in these playoffs. So let's do like we always do. Hit up the uh, player stats. See how well um, some of their players did during the regular season. I imagine um, lots of goals. Not many goals against, similar to us, but just less extreme is what I'm expecting. they got to have um, a couple point-per-game guys, yeah? Not quite. Malkin and Crosby, um, just under the point-per-game mark. 
James Neal, uh, the current Nashville Predator. But uh, 60 points isn't very good for him. 105 penalty minutes, that could be why. He spends fucking every game in the box. Pouliot, uh, he jumped to 87. Usually he doesn't really progress, so uh, it's good to see a little uh, switch up in the GM mode every once in a while. Grabner they have, 50 points, so that's not bad for a second-line guy. Bo Bennett, uh, he's probably a second-line guy as well, I imagine. Ooh, I bet you actually one of these guys is a, is a first-liner. Uh, no way they get Simmons out of fucking Philly. There's no way that trade ever happens unless he's not going to sign there in free agency either. But uh, it is a video game. Uh, looks like um, Dupre is their second leading defenseman with Latang slightly behind. But uh, 87 and 89, they got a couple uh, good defensemen there. And Dupre and Niskanen, both 84. Look at that lazy eye. <laughs> Fucking goof. Um, nothing else really standing out. Rook Charche, the uh, Clona Rocket. In net. Um, Marc Andre Fleury didn't have an insane regular season. He's only 84 overall, but uh, he is having a hell of a playoff. What is his nine nine two five eight? Is pretty good too, so can't fault him on that. But yeah, no, that's a that's a decent stats. I mean, definitely starting goaltender stats. We'll see what happens here in the Stanley Cup Finals. We're not going to fucking save it for a next video or anything. We're going to jump right into it after we take a look at their lines because I want to see who they have as wingers because they have a lot of right wingers and not many left wingers. So Pittsburgh. So, yeah, they did put Bennett on that first line. He only had 42 points playing with Crosby and Neal, so maybe uh, not the smartest decision. Simmons, Malkin, and Grabner, that's a hell of a second line. These guys have a dirty top six and a weak bottom six. So... Uh, looks like they got a lot of salary tied up in their uh, in Neil Crosby Malkin, uh, as well as Pouliot and Latang. I bet. Yeah, that's a predictable one-two punch. Dupre and Niskanen, uh, average. Peckham and Ellis. Uh, you, like I said, with uh, Nashville, you have to have guys that are gonna play in that uh, third string, and that's as good as uh, as you can ask for. I mean, it's not shitty. Flurry and Jari. Um, overall numbers aren't really there, but uh, he is playing out of his mind in the playoffs, so it could be any one series here. Game number one. Yeah, look at that regular season record. Nothing uh, to be a wowed at, but uh, they did make it to the finals for a reason. We'll see what happens. We are at home in Arizona. The Phoenix Coyotes looking for their third cup in five years. How's game one going to go? One nothing for us. Palat on the power play. Way to go, buddy. Uh, let's see what happens here in period two. Nothing, but we are out shooting them heavily, and as to be expected, Flurry is standing on his head. Um, hopefully we can get another one by him, and Palat with the second of the game manages to squeak one by him again. Uh, if we can get to ten minutes, yeah, that's what I'd like to see. I'll uh, wrap that up. Just tidy it up. Uh, Big Riss is going to put one in the empty net. And we're going to win the game. So Phoenix power plays empty net goal. That's a lot of uh, acronyms. 3 nothing in game number one. 46 shots. Um, 45 of those shots were against Flurry, who stopped 43 of them. So a 9.56 save percentage. Not quite uh, William Fox 1.0 save percentage, but uh, you can't expect that every time, right? And, of course, Plot's going to have that third star there. Should have mentioned. Game number one wasn't a, a cakewalk, but it wasn't a, too much of a challenge. Hopefully we can keep that same pace going here in game number two. First period sim, here we go. 0-0, zero, zero. they're out shooting us 2-1, to one, so I'd like to see that altered here in the second period. But as long as we can keep them off the board, it doesn't really matter how many shots they're getting. Here we go. One goal. Matt Ellis from the point. Uh, that's their first goal of the series. Uh, he wasn't actually from the point, but it was a point man. And we uh, we managed to kind of tidy up the shots there a little bit. We got 10. They got 11. So uh, we evened it up. But we need to get more offense going here in the third period if we want to take this 2 nothing series lead. Power play. Do it. Fuck me. We're winding out of time. There it is. Grummet Morris on the power play. The first line. 
Didn't really show up in that last series, but it did just there. And we're going to overtime in game two. We did tie up the shots, so we are out shooting them. Love to see that. Grumman Moore, slap shot from the point. You don't see that much from forward. Here we go. Third, no, first overtime period. Um, let's keep that uh, pressure from the end of the third. There it is. Biggers again. So he... Uh, he got one late in the game last time. He's going to get another one late in the game this time. It's another slap shot, and it passes Flurry. We had 33 shots on him, so I think Fox is going to get the better star this time, but he uh, he still deserves it. Fox, Flurry, Bigris. Yeah, you could have predicted that. 969 save percentage is really, really good. So he's only letting one goal through two games, our goalie. He's really making that Con Smythe push. Um, trying to forget those two games from uh, round two. Sim game, we are in Pittsburgh. Uh, console Energy Center. I'm not. I'm confident that that's when that's what that one's called. Here we go. Uh, period one. Nothing doing. Fifteen to ten are the shots for us. That makes me happy. Uh, if we can do that again in the second, we should come out with a lead. Yeah, two nothing. Thirty four to fourteen are the shots. We held them to four shots while managing to get nineteen of our own. Gauthier. Uh, is that his first playoff goal? I think it is. He's definitely trade bait for us. Uh, he's kind of a waste of talent there. 86 overall on the third line. But he manages to finally uh, break that dry spell. Pilot, uh he's been having a hell of a finals here. Another power play goal for him. And uh, we have a 2 nothing lead going into the third. Let's see what happens. 5 on 3. What happened there? 5 on 4. And you're not going to score on an extended 5 on 3. Give me a break. Uh, we've won this game, but uh, that's bad. you got to fucking do better than that. Oh, and Sutter fucks the goose egg up with uh, 43 seconds left and Gauthier gets his second of the game in the empty net just uh, just to fucking call out the haters I can't believe that though what a what a bitch Sutter you piece of shit so, yeah so one and two of the playoffs good for him uh, looks like it was assisted by uh, trade bait number two Brennan Gormley Mark andre Fleury first star even though he led in two fucked uh Posting up the uh, better goals against average and a safe percentage, but uh, it's only good enough for the third star. And Gauthier managing to steal um, steal the th second star. Game four. Um, sorry about that. I was distracted. Game four. Uh, Pittsburgh has their um, bum hole on the line here. They could get swept in the finals. That doesn't happen too often. I know it happened to Florida against uh, the Avalanche, but uh, it doesn't happen too, too much. Let's see what happens here. They did get the first shot of the game. Period one. one nothing for them. James Neal on the power play. They're not going to go out without a fight. It looks like 10-8 are the shots, so it's pretty even. Period two. 1-1. One, one. Gromit Morris is going to tie it up. Even strength. Rister from the top of the circle. And uh, we're out shooting them by a bit. Heading into the third, we're going to slow Sim, and hopefully we can manage to uh, take home that... Stanley Cup. The Cup is in the building. Console Energy Center, but Malkin says no. Halfway through the third. Can we tie it up, though? Can we tie it up? Can we tie it? Oh, we can with 13 seconds. Dolphin, what a fucking beaut. What a guy. What a clutch guy. Oh, my God, Dolphin, you sexy bastard. We're going to go into OT here. We're out shooting him by nine shots. Flurry. Choke artist. That's what he's been known for in the playoffs is just not being able to fucking perform when it matters and it looks like it happened again. What's going to happen here in OT? Oh, James Neal says no to the OT winner. So uh, we're going to game five back in Phoenix uh, trying to win the cup. Let's see what happens. Dolphin with 10 goals now in the playoffs. That's very, very good. <sighs> Pressure's on, boys. We don't want to fucking let them have two games in a row with some momentum. And I would love it to win it at home for the fans. So let's see what happens. 0-0 zero, zero after one. Uh, shots are all tied up as well. Uh, what about penalties? Were there any penalties? Two for us, one for them. But uh, nothing happened in that. Second period. 0-0 zero, zero still. Uh, they did outshoot us big time. We only had four shots that period. So we're going to have to turn that around if we want to win it here on home ice, which we do. Third period, slow sim. James Neal has been killing us these last couple of games. Power play, though, to even it up. Power play again. Fuck. Let's fucking... Yeah, there it is, Cormley. 
Doesn't want to get traded, so he's scoring to even it up. Is it going to be another case of overtime? It is. And we managed to outshoot them big time that period. Um, something like fucking 9 to 3 or something. Big, big, big third for us. James Neal scored, but Gormley tied it up, and we're going to OT with a little bit of uh, momentum on our side, so let's see what happens here. As long as you keep fucking James Neal off the ice. Come on. Oh, kill that off. Power play. Power play. Oh, no way. Oh, nothing. So the first overtime was fruitless. Um, we're going into overtime number two. Um, managing to outshoot them again. Or at least uh, keep a solid uh, shot lead on them. Here we go. Second overtime. There it is, baby. Dolphin. The fucking guy who tied it up late in game number four. Barry's one early in the second overtime. Fucking teammates come flooding over the bench. He's lifting the cup. That's what I love to see. That's going to do it for uh, <laughs> for this uh, playoffs, boys. That's all she wrote. James Neal with his eighth of the playoffs. Gormley gets one, and Dolphin gets his 11th to lead. Uh, that's got to be the league lead, eh? You got it, yeah. Dolphin, what a beauty. Popest and McKinley leading uh, in assists. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. Outstanding job this year, yeah. Fucking killed it. <sighs> Let's take a quick uh, playoff wrap-up, shall we? I mean, we've only been recording... Ooh, if we want to get that uh, draft on, I'm going to have to crush through this. Let's see. Player stats, playoffs. Let's see what happened. I know for a fact Dolphin had to be point per game because he had so many fucking goals, that guy. 17, that counts as point per game. So that first line, I was calling him out uh, that one series, but they managed to put up 17 points throughout. Uh, second line, uh, Palat, Faxa, and who's he playing with? Not Hornquist. Harper. Harper did not have the playoffs like he had a regular season. Not very strong performance from him. But uh, Popes really had a good playoff. Uh, 15 points. Only that one goal, like I was saying, he wasn't scoring a lot. But 14 assists, that's nothing to uh, shake a stick at. Gormley is actually our second best defenseman as it comes to points. Where's Morgan Riley? Look at that. Six points as our top defenseman. That's really not good enough. But uh, what am I going to say? Hey, we won the fucking cup, so... Uh, goalies. Focht was the only one who played for us. Uh, it looks like he didn't get pulled in either of those two games. Posts up a 137 goals against average, which is insane, uh, to match his 94.81 save percentage. So there you go. There's your Vesna, Con Smythe, and uh, Jennings winner. Not even going to have to look at the awards, but I will as soon as we finish the AHL playoffs. Let's just sim up to there. Still not done, Jesus Christ. How long are these fucking playoffs? I'll go like this and I'll see. 2-2. Two, two. Guess we'll just go right up before the fucking draft then. Looks like the Pirates had a really good uh, regular season as well, they just didn't get it done in the playoffs. Come on. Eunice Winehandle. Six wins in the playoffs. So it uh, looks like they only managed to get to the second round. Phoenix Coyotes are your Stanley Cup champions. That's what we love to see here. So that's three in five years, as long as long uh, along with four President's Trophies in five years. So uh, I don't know if it's a dynasty, but uh, it's fucking close. Especially uh, with all the trades we made in that... Uh, in that uh, off season last year, we're gonna skip the prospect game. Uh, we're gonna check out all the stuff at one time. Uh, don't want this video to go too long, but I do want to get the draft done. We'll do all the resign and other shit next time, but we're gonna look at awards. We're gonna look at prospects. And we're gonna do the draft and uh, we're gonna look at retirees. <laughs> um, stalls out. Uh, Stephen Weiss is out. I'm gonna start by points, not games played. Jeff Carter, so it uh, looks like we careered him there in round two. Same with Dustin Brown. Um, 
New Jersey had a hell of a regular season, but it looks like it didn't amount to anything in the playoffs. Any big names here? Ryan Suter, uh, Brent Burns, Mike Green's not bad. Seabrook's not bad. Goligoski, yeah. Um, nothing too crazy here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, in net, anyone? Uh, any big names? Cam Ward, he's finally gone. Uh, wouldn't be surprised. I was gonna say to see Rene gone. He's gone. Uh, letnin has gone as well. Crawford, Emery, uh, Grice. So, yeah, there's a couple big names uh, retiring for goalies as well. No problem. Yeah, I'm not going to do that yet because I'm going to go to Stat Central is where it is. Check out the awards. There's your Stanley Cup winner, the Phoenix Coyotes. It's been a while since, uh, since the boys lifted that cup, but uh, they're doing it again, so no big deal. President's Trophy, look at that, cleaning the board. Clarence S. Campbell, that's the name of the trophy I couldn't remember. Uh, Prince of Wales, yeah, we know who won that. Art Ross, so Kadobin won. Even though McKinley was awful close, he had a lot of points, but not more than Kadobin, who had a hell of a season. Uh, it looks like they're going to give him the uh, heart as well. James Norris is going to go to Bigris, the offseason pickup. We picked up a couple uh, new defensemen this year. Uh, he was one of the 26-year-old fucking glitch guys. I'm not going to... Uh, Pretend that it's not unfair, because it is. But uh, who cares? <laughs> we fucking won the cup. Uh, Lady Bing is gonna also go to this Kadoban guy, who uh, seems to be a hit with the fucking voters. Uh, Shane Matvichuk is gonna take the caller away from uh, Tobias Kink, which makes sense. Um, Con Smythe, yeah, fucked. You uh, could expect that. Vesna fucked. Yeah, you can expect that. Jennings fucked. Yeah, called all those three. Uh, Bill Masterton Trophy is going to go to Patrick Siloff. Um, you can't really award that in a video game. Selkie's going to go to Taves for the third time in four years. Ted Lindsay is going to go to Fox. So it looks like uh, the players like our goalie, but the media likes Kadobin, So, And he's also going to take home that, uh, that Rocket Richard. That'll do it for the awards. Let's go to GM scouting shit and check out the prospect game stats. See if there's any, like, 90 overall beauties that we just need to get. 68. There's that Tangrady defenseman. 71. No, no, no. 79's not bad. Uh, <laughs> the guy's name's Jesus, so there's that. <laughs> Might want to pick up Jesus just for the name. Not to mention he has 79 overall, so it's not like he's bad. Uh, 77 overall wise man. So <laughs> this is the uh, Catholic version of the fucking draft. We got a wise man and Jesus. Um, no one else to really, uh, stand out. We'll take a look at goalies. There could be a really good goalie, even though we have a really good goalie. Yeah, so it's wise man and Jesus is what I'm, uh, is what I'm interested in at this point, as well as maybe any European guys, which was, uh, Mickelson. Jesus is going, uh, second and wise man's going first, so, I don't know. I don't know if we have the assets to move into one or two. I would actually rather have number two. Um, he's younger and higher overall and a funnier name. Any, what's the next like European guy? Uh, Oleg's Gvortsov uh, at number nine. Wouldn't mind drafting him. Um, we don't really have any wing depth. Uh, anything else? Anything else? Uh, Vasyanov, as well as Kulikov. This is right around where we are actually going to be drafting with Chicago's pick. So if we don't have anything to trade up, it's probably going to be um, Kulikov at 22. Uh, forward prospect. Um, didn't get to see him in the prospect game, so it could be good. Par Carlson. Um, we shouldn't be drafting that late, but you never know. Actually, I do know. We're not drafting that late. Set up the draft. Let's save some time here. Let's get out of here. Simulate. Begin entry draft. We are at 10th. So uh, we could draft that um, that one Russian player. Or we could try to take... Um, oh, I don't know if one of those goalies... Ooh, we could... Mm, one of those goalies could be, actually be ahead of, uh, of Jesus. The top five rated goalie. So we might even... I'm going to see what uh, Montreal, San Jose, and Philly want. Mm, 
Montreal, San Jose, Philly. I know San Jose was number one, so we'll check them out first. So it's right about to the L. They want to get rid of it, though, so that's good. Philly wants to get rid of their third. It's right before the L. And Montreal wants to keep it. So we're not getting that. We have a better chance of getting the uh, first than we do the second. So we can put that in. That's got some trade value to it. Um, like I said, I wouldn't hate trading Gauthier, but no one's going to want him with one year left on his deal, which sucks because he does have some good trade value and we're not using him properly. So uh, putting him in isn't going to work, unfortunately. Uh, Gormley, he too is on his last year of his deal, so both these trade bait guys would have to wait until... Uh, oh, but his contract, we're not going to be able to re-sign him because it's so small. We do have a lot of salary cap available, though, so we might actually. What do we have left for one year, guys? Morin, we're not going to have to worry about. Jenner, Pearson, these guys aren't going to want big money. Gormley will. Um, Gauthier will. Dauphin definitely will. Uh, Popes definitely will. Murphy won't. So we got... A, oh, there's only skaters matching block, too. I'm going to put Gauthier in just because um, it could work. Give me that pick. All right. Like, that would normally go through if Gauthier had uh, some term on his contract. I don't want to trade this backup away. Uh, he's also on a one-year contract, but uh, I'd like to re-sign him because he's been a killer backup for us. Um, he's going to want a big contract, though. Anyone else with a one-year left? Uh, Hornquist, he's not going to want too much, I don't think. Dracidal, he shouldn't want too much. Declare, neither. Yeah, none of these guys should want too much. Jeremy Baby still got two years left. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. They're not going to want any of our trading assets. I wouldn't hate... Like, we could really overextend, and maybe they'll take it. But these guys both have one year left. I'm going to try this trade. Uh, chances are we can't re-sign to Kasmura anyways, because he's going to want a huge contract. Same with Gauthier. Uh, we are overpaying out the ass for this pick right now. But... Um, if we're going to be able to do it with a one-year left players, it's going to have to be overpaying. So let's see what happens. Yeah, it expires immediately. We're not going to be able to trade up, guys. Um, I wonder where that Russian's supposed to go. I think it was nine. But that was uh, ninth forward. So we should be able to pick that guy up. We'll see what happens. Wise man, Mickelson. So we could have got uh, Jesus at third. I'll see if I recognize the name, if it ever pops up. No, it didn't pop up, so we should be able to draft that guy I wanted to uh, get. This guy here, Oleg Skvortsov, power forward, 19 years old. Um, this is the best chance we have. He's 6'5", he's a big bastard, 245. Uh, it's either that or an enforcer, no. Uh, a grinder, no. Ah, shit, a four-star grinder, though. Hmm, I might actually want this. We can get a really good uh, third, fourth liner out of this player. Uh, with... Uh, with Skvortsov, we're not sure what we're getting. Six three two ten. Ooh, it's it's a fucking eeny meeny miny mo at this point. This guy came uh, right out of the WHL, so we scouted the shit out of him. It's not like we don't know what he's gonna be. Um, good defense. Like he's got four stars. His physical's not so high, especially when he's a grinder. But uh, do we take a chance on uh, the grinder? Yeah, he's higher up. I mean, he's higher up. We'll see if that was the right play. We'll see. Uh, he should go right quick here. Yeah, 15th. He went 15th to uh, Columbus, so we'll have to see um, if we made the right decision there. Oh, fuck. 35 minutes. Yeah, we're going to see next video, though, because I'm going to end it right here, boys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you press like on it. Uh, leave comments if you want to see any trades in the off offseason. Um, of course, I'll make those if you ask for them as well as uh, subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.